Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you. And um, I'm going to make this real quick. I want to talk about uh, the hypocrisy that I hear right, from a lot of these LeBron fans, right? And I know a lot of these LeBron fans ain't going to like this video, right? It's going to be real quick. But my thing is, I hear a lot of them complaining about how Kobe Bryant played with Shaquille O'Neal, right? And all I hear, you know, because, you know, the Lakers – in the um, in the two thousands, they three peated, right? Why is it a problem that he played with Shaquille O'Neal? And what a lot of guys don't realize that those championships wasn't handed to the Lakers because um, Utah ninety seven and ninety eight. Um, Gentlemen swept and swept the Lakers, in the West, and they swept the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. And the Spurs swept the Lakers in 1999, and um, they closed out the form in a sweep. So what I don't get with these people is they saying that somebody, you know, that it was handed to them. Those championships was not handed to them. That they took their L's like men, something that LeBron could not do. And I just feel like here's where the hypocrisy comes in, right? People have a problem with Kobe Bryant playing with Shaquille O'Neal, right? But but LeBron James can play with Dwayne Wade, a prime Dwayne Wade, a prime Chris Bosh, a prime a prime Kyrie Irving, a prime K Love, and a prime Anthony Davis. But nobody says anything about that, though. Because Shaquille, only stars he really had was all-stars, really, was Shaquille O'Neal and Pal Gasol. That's it. He might have had Dwight Howard, but Dwight Howard wasn't the same after he hurt his back in Orlando. Steve Nash was washed. Gary, Gary, Gary Payton was 35 years old. He wasn't clearly the... He wasn't the glove from Seattle. And... You know, Carl Malone was 40 years old. He was done, cooked. So why is it that it's a problem for Kobe Bryant to play with Shaquille O'Neal? Tell me that. When none of those championships was handed, they earned it. That they all stayed in there and they took their butts with, with butt, butt weapons like, like men, right? I'm just trying to figure out the hypocrisy that other guys can't play with superstars, but LeBron can. LeBron can jump jump ship. And, you know, it just all he had was Paul Casal and Shaquille O'Neal. That's it. He didn't play with a whole bunch of superstars. Like, come on, let's just be honest. And the Lakers played in a Western in a Western Conference, so that was a tougher conference than the Eastern Conference. Because if you ever noticed, as soon as LeBron James went to the West the Western Conference, he could barely get out of he could barely get out of first round. The Lakers have been what three out of the last five years? What they've been in what playing situations every year, right? So I, I just don't get the the hate that that Kobe Bryant gets when he earned his championships that he didn't take the easy way out like Bron did. And I'm just trying, I ain't gonna be on this long. I just wanna say how I feel about it. That that it's time for people to stop hating on Kobe Bryant when that man worked hard for everything. Nobody gave him nothing. When Shaq left. He could have took the easy way out. He's the best, one of the best shooting guards in the NBA at what in 2004 or five. He could have went anywhere he wanted to go, but he stayed with the Lakers. He thought about it because it was a story about him um, going to the Chicago Bulls. In fact, he was looking for a house in Chicago. But he did not leave. And he was rewarded with back-to-back NBA championships, three finals in a row. All he had was solid veterans 
an all star. An all star big man like Shaquille O'Neal, Powell Casal, they all they both in the Hall of Fame. So I'm trying to understand, like, he only had two all stars. While Brian played with five and nobody says nothing, but he's the GOAT. And he lost six times in the May Finals. That in 2009, the Lakers wiped the floor with the with the magic. But the magic put him out, right? Kobe Bryant didn't need the jump ship to beat the Boston Celtics, did he? I, I just don't understand the hypocrisy that this dude can play with all stars and all stars and all stars. And don't nobody say nothing? Kobe climbed up the mountain. Can Brian say that? No hate. I'm just trying to figure out what's the problem with Kobe Bryant playing with Shaquille O'Neal. They grew together. They had chemistry. That's why they could play so well together. You can't win by yourself, right? All they had was Shaq and Kobe and solid veterans. That's all they had. Kobe didn't make excuses. Kobe, Kobe didn't blame everybody else. Kobe, when Kobe failed, he looked at himself. But when LeBron failed, he looks at other people. And I know y'all are sick of me talking about this, but what else can we talk about? If I talk about anything else, you're not going to say nothing. So please stop calling me this hater when we just we just have an intelligent basketball conversation. Like why he can play with five All-Stars and he's considered the GOAT. But when Kobe played with Powell Casal and Shaquille O'Neal, it's a problem? You don't see the problem? I, I don't get it, and I just think it's weird that Kobe a Batman. Are you serious? Are you serious? When Shaq left, it took a while, but he went back to back, and he beat the Boston Celtics. He didn't need to call up. He didn't need to call up D-Wade and Bosch to beat the Boston Celtics. He beat them on his own, him and Falcon Saul. Ron Artest, Dave Fisher, Andrew Bottom, Candyman, Shannon Brown, Rick Fox. No, no, Rick Fox. That, that, he retired then. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what's the problem? Like, why can't, what was the problem with, with Kobe playing with Shaquille O'Neal? They didn't win all the time. They three-peated, but they didn't win all the time. I remember in the 90s, they would get, Utah was killing them, but they took their L's. Brian couldn't do it. Brian could not do it. That he quit on teams. This is not hate. I love Brian. But why can't people criticize him with you guys thinking somebody being a hater? I'm not going to ride a dead horse. I'm just saying, like, what's the problem? Kobe had two All-Stars and won five chips. No running required. No jumping ship required. No teaming up with your buddies required, right? He won the right way. Something that LeBron can't do. LeBron can't win on his own, man. And I know y'all don't want to hear it, but that's just reality. Then why is he getting all this credit? When Kobe Bryant worked hard. You know how hard that was? You know how horrible the Lakers were in 05? Lost to Phoenix twice. They went to three three chips. One, two, right? He worked hard for it. He earned it. Can Brian say he earned it when he played with all these people? In close, I'm going to say this real quick. I just don't understand why people hate on Kobe. When Kobe did things the right way, that Kobe didn't, didn't want to play with people. He wanted to destroy them. And I just don't understand why he can play with all these people and he's the GOAT. But when Kobe played with two All-Stars, it's a problem. Just tell me what y'all think. I'm out.